Hey guys, so Taken King's out and um, got quite a lot on day one. Firstly, the um, Postmaster had a package which gave me a new shader and emblem, which was pretty cool. I got a quest from Lord Shax. That core array gave me some quests as well. And then um, I was invited to do a veteran tour, which was pretty cool. The speaker gave me a new ghost shell. The Guardian outfit gave me some new shader. Pledged Alliance with the uh, new monarchy, ranked up and got a, a new sidearm, but I needed level 42 uh, to use it, but that's okay. Ranked up with the gunsmith, gave me some synths. The Crypt Art gave me the Monte Carlo, which is pretty damn cool because that was originally a PlayStation exclusive um, auto rifle exotic. But I uh, got that out, add that to the collection. Got a new uh, Sparrow from the Shipwright. Eris gave me a Warlock Bond, which gave me 200 defense, which added to my light level, that was wicked. Shax gave me some medallions, passage coins, and uh, commendation. That's handy. And then I got a new emblem from the Titan Vanguard. And then went and completed the first story mission. Visited the reef afterwards. Petra gave me a quest. Still struggling with that one. Um, got some stuff to figure out. And Kyrx just gave me some random stuff like helium filaments and things like that. So I had to go back to the tower. Ikora gave me a quest for the new subclass, which is pretty damn awesome, but I haven't leveled it up yet because of all the other quests you gave me for Void Walker. Cade started us off on the story missions um, against Oryx, completed the subclass mission, went back to the tower, and but these quests just keep coming about, keep getting more quests. Uh, the Cryptarch, I got a legendary engram, coded that, got some new boots, but again, needed level 40, which is annoying, but oh well. Ikora gave me a new weapon, which was level 40 also, and new quests. Um, I eventually reached level 40, started wearing the new gear to level up my lights. And I ended up mainly wearing um, rare items instead of legendary or exotic, which was a bit strange, but I'm sure as the game progresses that'll, uh, that'll change. Cora gave me a new artifact as well, which is the new item, which also adds to your uh, light level. I was lucky to have some legendary weapons. The new ore rifle I'm using is really good at the moment. Um, I then acquired some legendary marks from the uh, Daily Crucible um, thing, which is uh, what you need to buy stuff. I only got 18, but sorry, I'll build that up as the week goes on. Carried on with the story missions. Uh, one, which was a stealth mission through the Crota Raid, which was absolutely amazing. Third person all the way, having to stealth through, not killing a single thing and just not being spotted. Totally changed, like, how you play the game. It was, it was awesome. And then I eventually faced Oryx and beat him. And I thought the story is really, really good. And uh, the cutscene after you beat um, Crota with Eris is really intriguing. I'm pretty sure the story's going to go somewhere a little bit, a little bit further. Uh, Eris eventually gave me some ghost shell which I didn't really need, but I got a new shotgun as well. Absolutely awesome. Got all the gear that I needed all in one day. It's fantastic. And I realise there's not much gameplay in this video, um, but the future videos that I'll be putting up will have it in. And uh, I just wanted to point out that in one day I got a lot and there's still loads going on in the game. So thanks for watching guys, like favorite, subscribe, see you next time.